I'm saying that you don't need much clothes to come to Dubai. Yes, you don't. You don't. You don't need much clothes. You don't need. Uh, you don't need uh, 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 much wears, footwears, the shoes, the calves, everything. You don't need much of them. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Pascal Agu, and I'm coming to you here from Dubai. So guys, today we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts in Dubai. But first, I'm going to start with the don'ts. The don'ts in the sense that things you don't even, you shouldn't even dream about coming into Dubai with. Things you should keep back home, things you need here. That is what I'm going to be doing later. Later on, we're going to be talking about the do's. That is the things you can bring in and things uh, you need here while coming or while you are going to be staying here. If you're going to be staying uh, for a long time, getting a job and, you know, settling down. So, so guys let's go there so what i'm going to be telling you today are the things you can do even before coming to this place even before you get into dubai things to help you things to bring along and things not to bring along but i am going to be starting with the things you don't need that is the don'ts the don'ts guys stay back and relax as we pop up a list and then guys i'm going to be fusing in my life experiences as usual you know you understand and then just to make things spicy, I'm going to be giving you tips on how to do it as well. The right places and if you don't understand any of this, if you want a further thing, please go ahead, leave the comments at the comment section. Let me know what you think, let me know what you want or you can contact me privately and then we'll talk about it. Guys, the first thing that I want to talk about is this. Uh, please, when I say guys, I mean both the, the guys, the men and the ladies, you understand? So whenever I'm saying guys, Please, for the ladies, do not be offended. I want you to follow as well, okay? So what I want to talk about first are the don'ts, the things you don't need. Is this. I'm starting from the first thing is the clothes, your wears. Yes, the wear you're putting on, the clothes you're going to be coming with to Dubai. Now, I'm not saying you don't need clothes. Yes, you need the clothes. And it depends on the kind of jobs you have in mind. But, but I need you guys to put this, have this in your head. Sometimes the picture you actually envisage, the thing you actually expect, does not end up being the thing you uh, actually go for. You understand? So, my advice to this, to you on this is this. Guys, I had nobody to tell me this. I had nobody to tell me that, although a friend of mine hinted on it and because of him I had to do something. You understand? He didn't like, he was not like, um, emphasized on it. He did, he did not emphasize on it and uh, he just said it and then I took heed of the, his advice and uh, I had to reduce my clothes. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying that you don't need much clothes to come to Dubai. Yes, you don't. You don't. You don't need much clothes. You don't need, uh, you don't need uh, 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 much wears, footwears, the shoes, the calves, everything. You don't need much of them. Just pick a good number of clothes that you can put on. Maybe maybe 12, maybe some tops that you can use to change, change, uh, change the tops. Put some uh, some pants, that is some jeans, the trousers, that's what I mean. Maybe some shorts. Actually, you need the shorts because for you, the guys, you don't know where you're going to be um, um, landing, landing in. You understand? And so, that is the reason why you need the shorts. The one popularly known as the three-quarter, the three-quarter shorts. I'm talking about the shorts you wear. The knee my guys, the knee So, you don't need much clothes, you don't. Rather than packing much clothes, guys, I will let you know this pack more of the african foods african dishes especially the non-perishable materials that we need you understand now let me rephrase again on the issue of clothes you don't need much much clothes what you just need is a couple of clothes you can take about maybe four or five um corporate wears by corporate wears i mean the shirts and the trousers that you can use to talk them in in case of an interview in case of interviews you understand and most of the interviews here yeah, they don't even uh it's actually advisable for you to wear put on your 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 corporate wears and all that but most of the interviews there are so many some of the interviews here yeah, they don't even need you to dress that much you can just put on a jean trousers and a shirt stop talking in uh just look smart just look good what they actually want from you is your experience about the job or, uh, and then uh, definitely uh you provide and tell them what they want to hear about the job so that way you can get the job it's not because of the dressing here yeah. but you need to dress good and if it entails dressing on a corporate wear that is on a shirt tie and uh, trousers a plain trousers then so be it so be it and guys it still depends it depends on the kind of um, job you are going for there might be some jobs that actually there are some jobs that actually need you it's it's a must that you must have to dress uh corporately 
You understand, guys? So your wares take less of your wares, the clothes and the uh, the shoes take less of them. Rather, pack more food. On the area of that food, the food, the kind of food uh, stuff. I'm not talking about the cooked food. I'm talking about the food stuff, the food items. Uh, let me make. Um, let me quickly run down a list of the things you need of the food you need. Now we're talking about um, food like food stuff like maybe a goosey. Um, yeah, a goosey grinded, a goosey you grind it and then make sure you uh, dry it. It is dried. Yes, it needs to be dried so they don't get spoiled while you are storing it. You can get uh, the draw, uh, the one they call ogono. Yeah, for cooking the draw soup. You know, you understand, guy. So that's it. You can get that one too. Get to dry it and then uh, uh, put it in. The stockfish dried one you can get dried meats. Can get dried bitter leaves or other leaves that we, we can get you understand the dried ones you can get the maggi guys most times i'm not saying that these things you won't find them here but for you to find them it's cost a whole much it will cost up to three times four times more than the price you would have gotten it back home you understand so that is the reason why you need more of this and you need it in large quantity now going moving forward you need maggi you need uh, uh, uh if you can carry the onions you can no issues no problems in my own case i carried uh onions uh both the fr the dried onions and then uh, i carried the other normal usual onions the wet uh normal onions onion seed or onion balls whichever way you want to call it um i also had um i also took um um this other stuff that i mentioned the you see the the uh, gone or the leaves the maggi the oil I I also took um I guess it came with um yam but what I did was I had to slice the yam into bits you understand I had to slice the yam into bits so it could contain into the bags that I was uh, packing them I had to slice the yam down into bits and uh, I took more of I brought more of food I didn't quite get people to tell me all this but I just had to figure out that I not I wasn't going to get this over there and then I took even though I didn't come with much but I've been able to advise a whole lot of people to get to do that and uh, they've seen it. The reason for not coming with clothes is this, my idea. When you come over here and you get your work when it's time, you can buy clothes. Clothes are way more cheaper than food stuff. And um, you know, we gotta eat every day. Um, for the clothes, you can always repeat one or two times, one or two, uh, the next year, the next uh, minute, the next um, week, you can always wash and wear. But the clothes, the food for the food stuff, once it finishes, it is finished. So that is the reason why get more of foods and not any other thing and one other thing guys it is uh, not advisable actually for you to come with oil but if you must because you know, sometimes they do take it out you they should see it in your luggage so if you must you have to tighten it well tie it down sometimes people put it right inside the gary yes gary if you uh, gary is like gold here yeah. so if you can come over with a, a whole lot of gary you understand that's the cassava cassava flex now you can for the oil for the red oil or for any type of oil i'll advise you come with red oil uh forget about the groundnut oil you'll find it here you can buy it here for the red oil you can put it inside uh, uh bury it inside the gary that you're you're having or maybe tie it tie everything very tight wrap it around with a, a nylon or something and then find it put it uh inside the cloths you understand so that way you can protect it from uh spilling that's uh, I believe that's the reason why the main reason why they normally don't allow it. So guys, that's what it is. Now the next thing you should not bring here. The next thing on the don'ts list is the drugs, guys. Drugs. Now, if I'm talking about drugs, I'm, I'm not talking about the usual normal drugs. You know, the medicine you guys take. You can take to uh, uh, maybe malaria medicine for headaches, medicine for headaches, or your other uh, pills. But then there are some pills that maybe when it's prescribed to you, and then it's out of like out of bound talking about maybe weed or some other extensive drugs like that you're not allowed to come with such and before you can actually come with some of the prescribed medicines make sure you have to declare them you have to declare them declare in the sense that you have to declare it before there should be a paper a medical paper uh, and when I say medical paper it should be a very credible medical paper from a medical an accredited medical uh, uh, hospital recognized by the government of the UAE here you have to have a paper to back those things up if not you could be arrested and probably jailed possibly jailed for uh carrying of illegal substances into the country so weed is not allowed no weed is not allowed 
Um, what's it again? What's the next again? Alcohol, guys. Alcohol. You can never bring an alcohol here. This is a Muslim country, guys. You are not allowed to bring alcohol to this place. Now, when you finally come into this place, you are not allowed to take alcohol in any public area or any public places except for designated area designated in the sense that they have places which has licenses license to actually uh sell this alcohol and you must buy and consume them there or you take them to your home but it's much preferable if you should consume them inside the licensed uh areas as you don't know guys one might be tempted and just sleep so it's not advised you cannot take alcohol uh outside or in the public anywhere in the public because you could be arrested for that and probably jailed um um guys the next thing on the list is uh eating in public yes you can eat in public of course you can eat in public but i'm talking about eating in public on the ramadan month on the month of ramadan ramadan is the holy month of fasting for muslims i mean guys you should check it common sense if someone is fasting and you know that they are fasting come on i think you should respect their religion you should give them that uh, honor and then abstain i mean you don't see someone and you know someone is fasting and you get to um not even drinking water in front of the person because it's a dry fasting guys it's dry fasting and so these guys are so they can become so famished and so tempted so um if someone should sue you for that or report you to the law or to the police for that you could be arrested and possibly jailed yes you can and uh, on that case too, I want to talk about the culture, politics of this place and the religion. You don't dare get to castigate or openly castigate the government or government policies or the culture of the country. You understand? In my own opinion, I mean, they are quite nice. They are quite good. The policies, the culture. The, the thing is this. The world is agog with varieties and that is awesome for me. For me, I mean, look at the policies. The policies are so good. I mean, if they are not good, why would we be coming here? Yeah. Why, why would we leave our own country to come here and even leave and stay, you know, work here? You understand? For me, there is, personally, there is nothing even, nothing is wrong. You understand? I'm not saying that there are no uh, glitches here and there. There might be, but uh, we look at the bigger picture and we look at the brighter side and we look at the more uh, positive side. And for me, in the positive way, at ways the negative way, way higher than the negative. Uh, I don't see the negative, guys. I don't. I wouldn't be seeing the negative. And I'm not saying there are no negative. Every other country has have their challenges. But then, as far as you, the United Arab Emirates or Dubai is concerned, they are flawless. For me, they are flawless. Yeah. Um, the next on the list is this. Okay, guys. I want to maintain on that. You could be jailed for castigating or speaking against the government or government government policies the cultures or religion you could be jailed for that yes you could be jailed for that so please abstain so the next on the list is this prepare your mind not to commit any crime do not commit any crime don't prepare your mind not to commit any crime of recent the united arab emirates as a whole as a country has been uh, listed as one of the safest country and uh, in particular it was second probably second to Singapore or something I don't know but it was listed as second in the whole world the second safest country in the whole world and believe you me guys it is safe compared to the amount of violence we have in other countries in uh, back home and all that when you compare that and you, sorry when you compare that you will see that in the United Arab Emirates is way way more better when you compare uh, the crimes that have been committed in other places so zero your mind not to commit any crimes here because when you do you could be picked up you could be arrested in just 10 minutes that is if it gets to 10 minutes yes and i mean that i mean why would you be thinking of um stealing something or taking something where there are cameras everywhere i know you guys these people are way beyond far beyond already far beyond the era of even cameras they're way beyond that now that they can I mean, things happen and then you see them sweep immediately and then they go in straight and pick up the person they want and you'll be wondering, what happened? It's not just the camera, it's the technology in which they use now, you understand? The buy is way, way uh, fast and way, way, um, 
what's the word again? Dubai is way into technology and they are exploring and using it for their well-being. So guys, the next thing on the list is a driving license. I would tell I will tell you this. So guys, the next thing on the list is driver's license. Do not drive with your own country's driver's license. Don't. Don't do that, guys. Don't try it. It is against the law. You must secure the driver's license of this country before you can drive. Now, there are other countries that are, are exempted from such from such laws. You can check that if your country is uh, among those people, then you need not, not worry about that. But for most African countries, you need to get a permit, a driving license. That is, That means you need to go for a training here for a couple of months and then you secure your driver's license. It means you're going to pay for that, of course. And uh, believe me, guys, for you to get another driver license here it's like getting a high level certificate seriously it helps it really helps and it's going to up your game i mean talking about the salaries you can you can get talking about the kind of um yeah the kind of jobs you get mouth watering jobs and so it is not advisable for you to drive without the united arab emirates driving license do not use your own and if your mind is telling you that you can drive and you don't even have your own country's driver's license i mean <coughs> We should be ready to go pull off in the jail, you know. Um, while you're driving, mm, do not run the red light. If you do, nobody will be there to confront you. Nobody will be there to tell you anything. But I want you to know this. Each of the um, red lights has a camera which is connected to it. And somewhere it's monitoring. It can easily pick up your, uh, your plate number. That is your car number car registration number and then it means an information is sent to the office and then you're being billed automatically they don't nobody needs to come to you that means you're billed because everything your registration number everything is being registered according to to your name to your id to your uh, uh, anything whichever passport or international passport you are you're using you understand so when you run a red light guys you're already billed without you even knowing it you just have to go and pay sometimes some people don't used to uh, don't get to know and then uh, they go they want to do something and then they, they just find out from their id from their id card that they have fines to pay without even knowing that so guys you need to be careful about that now guys the next thing i want to tell you guys is this is this is a popular this is a popular trend here people who get to do um stuff they get to um they call themselves agents agents who are not registered not a government licensed um individual or a business registered uh, individual they're not a government licensed individual for tours and travels and then you just start taking people's money sometimes they have offices sometimes they don't but i wonder who would be so should i say confident or should i say stupid enough to give somebody their money when you did not know anywhere called their office i mean before you lay money to somebody for something you need to know their office or let's wave the, the facts for the office because some people can do things online some people can actually register businesses online but i still advise if you at least get to know the place where the person lives and if possible the friends some of the friends and some of the people who might have uh, who would testify to whatever business or whatever um, services the person is rendering you understand you need to have people who attest to that and then before you can go on so that is it don't do anything taking people's money and then not giving them the services that uh, they, they paid you for. If you do so and you're reported, yes, you can be sued for that. If you're reported, you can go to jail for that and you must pay. That is one thing I like about these people. You will go to jail and you must pay. Sometimes they actually waive it and just make you pay and then you go. Do you understand? But it depends. It depends, guys. If someone sues you because of uh, such a thing and they sues and um, it could come with um, uh, a few spending of time in the jail, guys. The next and uh, possibly the last thing not to bring here over here in Dubai is um, do not bring porn or pork anything pornographic or any sort of uh, pornographic uh, movies or something anything it is prohibited here it is prohibited in that way too public affection show of public affection hugs kissing in the public is well prohibited here too you cannot kiss or hug even if it's your long your loved one i mean i'm not saying there are places they don't do it but most of most times they get to uh, do it in some yeah they are public quite all right but uh, not really public public i mean like indoors some kind of 
there might be people around you can do your thing hugs and then cases like that but there are places when you do them you get into trouble yes there are you can be sued you can you can you can actually be arrested and you can go to jail for that do not come with anything pornographic movies don't do not it is against the law here you cannot even browse all those kind of sites here in the uh, united arab emirates and then uh, for the pork pork that i mean is you know the meat the pig meats meats from pig popularly known as pork you are not allowed to get them into this place this is a muslim country and so porks are not allowed yes they are not allowed and then for the ladies i would not say do not come with your bikinis you can come with your bikinis but make sure you wear them only at the beach i think that is the only designated area for that only at the beach or maybe licensed places for those people who may be working with that by that i mean maybe working in the night clubs or something like that if you're working with it you can wear it there wear it on the beaches but outside you need a much more decent clothes or decent wears you could as well be arrested if you go against such so guys those are the things you don't need to do or bring while coming to dubai those are the things you should be aware of but i'm gonna advise you get down there subscribe like this video and please share to your friends share the video to your friends so that whenever i actually post a video so many people are going to be informed turn on the notification so you know whichever time i post a video guys thank you for staying please have a good time